Our sensor called Wanze. Marcus Traub is one of eight sausage sellers here in the town of Hof in northern Bavaria. Traub is maintaining a 130-year-old tradition that's unique here in Germany, and he's a great fan of his native Hof. They say you always cry twice in Hof, first when you have to come here and then again when you have to leave. People here are very friendly and open to new ideas. We pass through the old town center in order to reach Marcus Traub's first recommendation, a special kind of park. The Signs of Fame Park began as a peace initiative. The park is located in the center of Hof. From here you can travel to distant places like Korea and California. The park was founded by documentary filmmaker Klaus Beer, who's put a lot of love and effort into it over the years. The park symbolizes peace and international understanding. It was founded in 1999. It features over 60,000 signs brought here by visitors to the city. There are also peace messages from celebrities such as Roland Emmerich and Cher. Marcus Traub takes us to his second recommendation, Mudlerreuth. Just a 10-minute drive from Hof, the village shows why international understanding plays such an important role here. It was called Little Berlin before the wall came down. The old inner German border ran right through the middle of the village. Today, an open-air museum, it reminds visitors of a chapter in German history that Traub experienced as a youngster. Here you can really feel what it was like. The Iron Curtain was some 10 kilometers from Hof. It's depressing to see what perfection was used to keep people apart back then. We return to Hof and head to the next recommendation, the Sausage Vendor Monument. Here's a colleague of mine. Hof is really proud of its tradition of sausage vendors, and so this monument was set up in the 1950s. But I never met this gentleman. It's easy to see why Hof is so proud of its sausage vendors. Marcus Traub says his colleague's sausages are almost as good as his own. Oh. 